Permit me to make this announcement from our pastor, Father Kurtznegger. That we will be paired officially with Sacred Heart Parish in Bellevue as our fam parish family. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. You say hallelujah. <laughs> praise the Lord. God is good. And all the time. And that is his nature. Wow. Again, we thank the Lord for this precious moment of being in his presence. To praise him, to worship him, and to celebrate the Eucharist. Jesus present with us. And today we hear the lamentation of Job. Job's crying out of pain. And each time I reflect on Job's story, the life of Job, I sing this song. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship his holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning, it's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever, lies before me let me be singing when the evening comes whatever may pass and whatever lies before me let me still be singing when the evening comes and that's character that characterized the life of Jew who the moment of pains, moment of disappointments, moment of ill health, even though he complained at the end, he surrendered to God. He said, Lord, it's all about you. And we see today, Job again lamenting. He was faced with a lot of troubles. He lost everything to the point that he cried out and said, My pain is more than I can bear. I can't sleep at night. I shall not see happiness again. Job, at a point, seemed to have lost hope. And losing hope is worse than the situation itself. Many of us may have felt this way before. Many presently may be feeling the same way. Because of crisis in the family. Because of what goes around in our society today. Because of maybe ill health, financial crisis, betrayal, misunderstanding by loved ones. We may be feeling the pain, the disappointment. But one thing is sure, the hope of better tomorrow should be the last thing anyone, man or woman, 
she throw away. No matter what, no matter how you feel, how it feels today, don't give up. Don't lose hope. Please don't lose hope. You are not alone. You are not alone. Christ comes with his grace to carry us through. Every pain or suffering we go through is for a reason and for a season. God alone knows the reason. And for the season, some of us, our season may be short. Others may be longer. Whichever, ultimately, all we need to do is to wait upon the Lord. And the Lord said in Psalm 46 verse 10, Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that is God. In that situation, that those disappointing moments, be still. Trust in God. Hold on to God. Know that he's there for us. And so the good news is that Jesus comes into our sufferings. He comes into our disappointment, our desperate moments, and lends his hands the way he did with Simon's mother-in-law. And lifted her up. When we are down, be sure that you are not alone. Jesus will always lift you up. So you go to do what? Go to turn on to Jesus. Focus on Jesus. Look on to Jesus. In the midst of everything, look on to Jesus. Reflecting in the new year, and I just came back from retreat. All the Lord put in my heart was focus on me. Focus on Jesus. No matter the destruction, focus on Jesus. No matter what is happening, what may be happening, focus on Jesus. And rest in his presence. Find time to relax in his presence, in prayers. Pray, pray, and pray. And focus on Jesus. Don't allow your circumstances, your situation to drive you crazy. Focus on Jesus. Don't allow what you see in the society, the news of bad news, Every day, every time, don't allow it drive you crazy. Focus on Jesus. Look unto him who is the perfecter and finisher of our faith. The great thing is this, you are not alone. He knows your struggles. He knows your pains. He knows your disappointment. And he shares in them. Let us trust him. Yes, he is the Lord and Master, the creator of heaven and earth, your own creator. But he's not just that, he is a friend. And there is no friend like Jesus. He listens. He carries us through. He embraces us in our weaknesses, in our pains, and lifts us up. But there is no friend like him. And the wonderful song that I so much cherish that says, There is no a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. 
No, not one. No eyes could heal all our souls' diseases. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He who guided our there is done. There is no a friend as a lonely Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He who guided our day is There is no a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. We can trust him. He can heal us. He can guide us. And so we pray that through the Eucharistic prayers, the Eucharistic celebration, we'll find healing, we'll find peace, and He will grant us miracle and clean our tears. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> <coughs>